Hey, welcome back. I want to talk to you about stroke effects in Elemental. What do I mean by that? Well, it's where you have a bit of text and you get rid of the inner colour or the colour of the text and you only have an outline. But how can we do that and how can we actually modify the outline colour as well? And can we actually stick things behind it as well so we have a bit of transparency? Of course, it's quite simple with a little bit of CSS code, okay? But again, like I said, it's dead, dead simple. Hey, I'm Imran, Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe and share. And please do follow us because we're here to help you with Elements when WordPress to help you, your clients and your business. So we're in Elemental and we're going to add in a header like so all right and i'm just going to say to this header is i'm going to call this stroke effect text all right you can tell there's been a lot of thought has gone into this and i'm going to go to style and i'm going to make the color of this at the moment i'm going to make it a black color okay and the typography we're just gonna we're not going to spend too much time on this i'm going to go for orbitron it's one of my favorites that is orbitron and we'll make it quite big let's just go with about I don't know, 128. Remember, use REM. I prefer to use REM than pixels when it comes to font. But let's just go with pixels for now. And the weight, well, we'll make it about 900. There we go. Pretty simple there. Nothing extra special. It is just a header in one section, in one column. Let's just add in a little bit of padding onto the section. Let's just go with about 100. No, we want to go 100 because you can't see me then. There we go. We're going 50-50. Okay. Now. I am going to turn this into a transparent text, but it will have an outline. If we go to the, sorry, let me click on the text. If we go to the header, okay, and you can do this with headers or text editors or anything like that, okay, anywhere where you basically have a bit of text, but we're gonna do it on the header. If I go to advanced, in the CSS class, okay, I'm going to call it stroke. All right, uh, a lot of videos out there and other tutorials, they tend to use the word stroke. You can call it what you want. I mean, I could even call it something like uh, outline header. You know, why not? Make it as long as you want. Outline header, that's what we'll call it. What you then do is go to custom CSS. And in your custom CSS bit, you're going to drop in a bit of code. Outline header, dot outline header, webkit text stroke, zero pixel, and then hashtag triple O. Now at the moment, if I was to get rid of this code, and I'm just gonna make a point, if I get rid of it, watch, nothing actually happens. I mean, there's a little bit of a very subtle slight change, but it's exactly practically the same. So you're probably thinking, well, what was the point of that? That's because all it has done is added in a black outline text, but in fact, there is no outline, it's zero pixel. Watch what happens when I add in 10. Whoa, we just overdid the outline, and we just gave it a big 10 pixel thickness. But it's still kind of, you know, all it's done is add on to the text at the moment. So what if I go back into my text, right? And I go back to style, and instead of having a black outline, I now make it transparent. So you pick up, look at that, look, it's changing. The transparency is now gone. Well, it's transparent, sorry, the color is gone. The transparency is high. If I go back to advanced, and I go back to custom CSS, I'm gonna change the pixel of the width to be a one. I could go with a two, I could go with a three, I could go with a four. You know, I mean, let me put a value in. I could go with a four, there we go. So I'm just gonna leave it as a one for now. In fact, then we'll leave it as a two. Two looks a bit better. Now the Orbitron font is a little bit strange in how it's created and that's why we got this like uh, effect going on there. But don't worry about that. That's just how the R's are in the Orbitron font. But what this has now done, it's given us an outline. And if I go over here to the hashtag bit down here, I might change this to be FFA900 and I get an orange effect. So I can pick whatever hashtag color I want to stick in there. I could go with FFF for white, triple O for black, or I could put in a six character code, okay? So the world is there for you to do whatever you want with it, okay? And what's really great about this is because it is transparent, if I go back to my section, okay, and I go to style and I go to shape divider, remember, you can do this with whatever you want. I go to bottom and I go for triangle asymmetric at the bottom and I make that triangle a, uh, a black color. Let me increase the height and the width and let's just flip it to be the other way around. I mean, the, if I had an image, imagine, right? I've got an image and I wanna have some text on it but I wanna have an outline. I want to maybe have it like as a fixed background or whatever so as it scrolls up and down, 
this is fantastic for you, right? I mean, this is like, you could have literally have a moving effect, but this is a dead, dead simple way of how you add in text with an outline into Elemental. I hope you like, subscribe and follow and I'll see you soon.